Hey guys, Mark here, Running Words for Christ. Welcome back. Folks, I want to jump right into this message. And this is a message of encouragement for my brothers and sisters who've been seeing, like a lot of us have been seeing, a lot of lawlessness and all kinds of evil and wickedness is going on in the world. And we're asking the question, where's God? When is God going to move? When is God going to deal with all this stuff? Um, and I'm here to tell you that the Lord is not asleep. The Lord is not asleep. He sees everything that's going on, but God is a righteous and just God. The Lord always gives plenty of chances for, um, for everyone to come to repentance, everyone to turn away from wickedness, turn away from lawlessness, turn away from evil. He always gives, he always gives all people a chance to do that. We may look at something, we may, may look at the world. We see all kinds of, like I said, lawlessness and evil that's going on in the world. And we want God to come in and deal with it ASAP right now, or even like yesterday. But I'm here to encourage you, folks. I'm here to encourage you that God is not asleep. And when I, um, and he reminded me, and I, I've, I've read this before. In fact, I, I think I've even made a video on Psalm 37. But I think that <clears throat> this will encourage my brothers and sisters who may be seeing all kinds of stuff that's going on in the world. But what we have to do is wait on the Lord. And that's one of the toughest things, folks, for most believers, is waiting on God. Waiting on God to move. Waiting on God's perfect timing. Waiting on God <clears throat> to um, step in and deal with all, of the, um, with all of the evil that we're seeing that's going on out here in the world. This will encourage you, folks. This will encourage you that God is not asleep. Okay? He's not asleep. He's not, you know, um, not aware of what's actually happening and going on out there. But like I said, God is a God of justice. God grants a lot of time for people to go ahead and repent and to turn back to him. <clears throat> you know, so, um, and this is Psalm 37. It's going to be a two-part video. I'm going to read Psalm 37 verses 1 through 20 as a message of encouragement to my brothers and sisters that the justice of God is coming at his appointed time. <clears throat> okay? So, here's what it says. Do not fret because of evildoers. Did you hear that, folks? Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Hmm. Huh. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Folks, every aspect of our lives, we should commit ourselves or commit our way onto the Lord. In everything, in every area of life, turn it over to the Lord. It says, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the new day. Verse seven, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Let me say that one more time. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. Did you hear that folks, you hear that? Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass cease from anger and forsake wrath do not fret in any cause or oh, do not fret it only causes harm don't fret folks don't fret and don't take you know like I said when you see the wicked and all the other stuff that he's doing out there Trust God. God will deal with it. Verse 9. For evildoers shall be cut off. There it is. 
For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Wow. Let me say that one more time. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Verse 10. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Hmm. Huh. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place, but it shall be no more. Folks, does that sound that God, does that sound that the Lord was going to deal with the wicked? Does that sound that the Lord is asleep and not going to go and deal with the wicked? Let's say it again. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place, but it shall be no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth. Who shall inherit the earth? The meek, but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in abundance of peace. Verse 12, the wicked plots against the just. They're plotting, they're planning. They plot against the just. They plot against the righteous. They plot against those who want, who want to do good. <laughs> The wicked plots against the just and gnashes at him with his teeth. The Lord laughs at him. Hmm. For he sees that his day is coming. The Lord sees when the wicked is plotting against the just, trying against his people, trying against his children. The Lord laughs because he sees that the day, oh, he says, uh, the wicked plots against the just and knocks him upon the teeth. The Lord laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The day that he deals with all the wicked that's out here. Mm. The wicked have drawn out their swords and have bent their bows to cast down the poor and needy, to slay such, to slay those who are of up, upright conduct, this is what the wicked, the wicked, folks, the wicked are opposed to the righteous. The wicked are opposed to the righteous. The wicked have drawn out their swords and have bent their bows to cast down the poor and needy, to slay those who, who are of an upright conduct. Their sword, verse 15, their swords shall enter into, their swords shall enter their own hearts and their bows shall be broken. That's verse 15, folks. Verse 15. Verse 16. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. A little that a righteous person has is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. There it is, folks. There it is. The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. Let me say that one more time. For the Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in evil time. Are the evil times here, folks? Are the evil days here? The scripture says they shall not be ashamed in evil time. Hmm. And let's see here. Uh, la, 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 la. They shall not be ashamed in evil time. This is verse 16. And the, and the righteous man is better than the, than the riches of many wicked. We said that. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in evil time. In the days of famine. Folks, have they been talking about a famine that's coming? Have they been talking about food shortages that are coming? Have you heard that? Have you heard that? 
in various corners, various faces, where here's, here is a word of encouragement for you. For they shall not be ashamed in evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked, verse 20, but the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord, like the splendor of the meadows, shall vanish. Huh. Into smoke they shall vanish away. Folks, that's verse 20 in Psalm 37. Does that sound that God is going to deal with the wicked? At some point, at some point in time, folks, I'm here to encourage you that even though you see all kinds of wickedness, even though you see all kinds of evil, even though you see all kinds of lawlessness, even though that you've seen all kinds of, of, of things that are absolutely discouraging, <clears throat> that are being promoted out here, that are in violation of the word of living God, I'm here to tell you, according to Psalm 37, the Lord is going to deal with the wicked at his appointed time at the appointed time of God. So the Lord is not asleep. The Lord wants everyone, even those those right now, um, that may be dealing wickedly, treacherously, and all kinds of stuff, evil, he wants them to come to repentance. He's giving them a time to repent, to turn from, from lawlessness, from wickedness, and all of that. That's the love of our God. He always gives an opportunity for people to turn because he loves them not wants to see not one person perish but everybody has to decide to go the way of the Lord if this message speaks to you give it a like a thumbs up hit the subscribe button Jesus loves us folks loves us and only wants the best for us so I'm here to encourage you guys the justice of God is coming it hasn't been asleep it's coming but it's coming at the appointed time. Share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment. See you next video.